Hello everybody and I hope all is well. Today we are going to cover how to add social sharing buttons to your Magento store. So it's important. Let's say for instance you uh, have a product um, and your potential customer comes to the store, you want social sharing buttons here because obviously you know what that's going to do for your business. Their friends will see it and you could generate leads that way. Okay. Uh, so it's worth it. Most of the stores, most online stores are doing that today. So uh, this is to your benefit and it's going to help you generate leads. Okay. So what we do, the extension we're going to use is a Magento extension called Add This. It's actually, it's actually free. And you would just go to Magento Connect or Magento Commerce, and, uh, as you can see right here from this URL. And you want to install this. You have to sign in to Magento Connect. If you don't already have an account, you can create one. It's free. But this is assuming you have a Magento Connect account. So what you want to do is you agree. Obviously, read <laughs> the extension license agreement, and you want to get the extension key. Okay. You want to select the key, and you want to copy it. Okay. Now you have to go to your Magento store. So forward slash admin. Okay, so your URL forward slash admin. I happen to be logged in right now. Okay. So what you do when you log in is you go to system and you go to configuration. Okay. Actually, sorry. System Magento Connect and the Magento Connect Manager. Sorry. I'm so used to just going to configuration uh, anytime I go to system. So anyways, sorry for the reflex. Now your Magento Connect Manager is the same password, same username and password you use to get in to Magento. Okay, so when you go to your forward slash admin, your domain forward slash ad admin, that's how you get into Magento Connect. You want to make sure this is selected by default. We already did a backup, but you could do a database backup on the server as well if you want. Um, I always recommend before you install any extension to do a backup but you could do it within Magento Connect. I, I would suggest you do it beforehand, not use this. So remember that key we selected? We want to copy and paste that in here, and we want to click on Install. Okay, so as you can see, this comes up, and it's telling you that this is the this little key here that you entered in is for this, for community. Okay, so the Add This extension is here. So you want to click on Proceed, okay? Okay, so this has been installed successfully when you see clean cache uh, uh, successfully and it also tells you that it's been installed successfully. Okay, now what you want to do is you want to hit the return to admin button. Okay, and you want to go to system and you want to go to uh, re-index. So just go here. And you want to just make sure that you re-index. It's thinking. I don't have CDN on the back end. So that's why it's a little bit slower. So now that that's done, you want to make sure you log out. Okay, then you want to log back in. Once you log back in, you want to go to system and you want to go to configuration because now we have to look for the extension itself. Okay. As you can see, right here, here it is. Add this. Okay. So now we have to configure the plugin still. You don't need a profile ID for this. Um, what we want to do is we want to actually go to the sharing tool. We want to select the buttons we want people to see, the button style. Okay, none of this you really need to do. So I like this right here. Again, you could choose from any of these here. I like I like this 
this uh, button style set right here. You want to save the configuration. Additionally, let that think. Additionally, you want to make sure that's enabled, okay, or it won't show up on the front end. And let that just think. The next tutorial we're going to go over is how to speed up a Magento site. It's actually pretty easy. Um, let this think. All right. Now you want to go back to your store and see if it took the change. So you want to go dub 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 dot. We're, we're at this. This is the uh, store URL here. And let's click on that. As you can see, this showed up. And this also showed up here. Okay, you don't you can disable that in the configuration settings. This is a floating social bar, but uh, we can disable that. But here is your social uh, settings here. Okay, so that's how you install a uh, that's how you install social sharing uh, settings in Magento using the add this free Magento Connect plugin. Thank you.